it is still nice out here so i decided instead of going in check this one out see what i have in this container so again more potatoes and so i see a name on here again no name so i have to remember these when i go inside and check for the notes so again the other container i left it was frozen on the inside i have to focus when i'm doing this because i'm not doing a very good job of focusing the camera on what i'm working on this was a stick that i tied it on okay Ooh. Hey, got something here. Okay. Well, I have vines. So let's just see what comes out of this. I have a lot of vines. So let's see if there's anything underneath this soil. this because I'm gonna put extra soil in here put extra dirt in here please don't pay attention to my messy but I'm these look I have to do this quick so so far nothing on the top but get a container to put some of this dirt and make it faster so hold on I'll be back okay so I'm gonna put this stuff in this so here we go hopefully I find something in here and I hope the bottom is not hello Ugh, guess what yeah this is frozen too oh I messed up this year but my first year doing it so you live and learn so I know better next year get these things out of the container before the frost comes in I guess if it was in the ground it would have been better because I don't think the ground would have froze okay it's, it's, that is frozen and right around the frozen is the potatoes oh I broke that off This is frozen also. So I'm just gonna take the soil out and leave for tomorrow. Tuesday. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Maybe the rain will help thaw some of this out. But I'm not sure what it is gonna look like underneath. So this is full. I'm gonna pour it in here. One hand doing all this. I need to make sure I get it inside the net. Oh, see, I'm not. I have to focus, and I'm focusing. I'm not focusing good. So you get it inside. Get it inside the net. There you go. Okay, that's better. So let me see if I can find a little shovel and try to get through, break through some of this. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, here we go. Got myself a little shovel so I can break through some of this. That's what I should have done earlier. I just, oh, this is frozen. Look here. It is frozen. I have a, at least I know I have a potato right here. I have a potato right here, but the soil around it is frozen, and I'm not even sure where it's going, you know. So, focus the camera. Okay. 
it would have been so much easier if this wasn't frozen. So much easier. And look at I have a frozen potato. It's not big though. It's not very big. Okay, these are all just frozen saw. So I'm gonna throw that in the bucket. And have more I'm going to see if it's frozen all the way through or just the, like the top layer. I mean, that's a lot of vines. A lot of vines. But, there's nothing on the vine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the top. It's just the top layer is frozen. No potato in that. No potato. So run over to the bottom. Take some more soil out. From what I can tell, this side has nothing on this side. Oh, well. So let's go to this. Trust me, if I had something, I'll dump this out in it as so I can look. But. This is just a spur of the moment thing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is dig this up with both hands and I'll tell you what I find. This is all I got from this container. Now I'm not sure there's any more in there, but I put this in, it's gonna rain, so hopefully it'll thaw the rest. And then I'll check it out tomorrow or no later than Tuesday. So this is all I, I got from this. So let's move on. This is what I got from the total of the three containers. So next year, I will not leave them so long in the ground. So now I know better. Like I said, my first one, i really growing a lot. Last year I only did one little container as a tester. It wasn't bad. Okay, 